All right, guys, just picked up some totes. I gave this company some totes, and they called me and said to take them back. So it's kind of worked out pretty well. It's not the same totes that I had before, but I'll take them anyway. On the big movie set here, or the big uh, filming studio down by the lakefront. This is a new complex here. And there's a lot of filming done in this city because it's cheaper for them to come across the border and spend the Canadian dollar to do it here. So they're always fine and work here. All right, back for more totes. And I just got me a nice free lunch courtesy of the movie set. I like to eat healthy, so I got the healthy stuff. I just ran into a friend of mine there from way back in the day and uh, he works in there and he helped load me up with the forklift and I was talking to him about what was going on in there and it's something called UTAP and it's an Arnold Schwarzenegger film or a TV show based on uh, that movie he made True Lies so I apparently I just missed him and I might have seen him because I heard he was driving around a black Cadillac and I saw one going uh, do a U-turn there. It was a guy with a beard. I couldn't tell if it was him because he was too far away. But anyways, that was pretty interesting. But uh, yeah, me and the guy over there, we're going to catch up still. All right, I'm heading back to the shop to drop these totes off there. I'm not taking them up to the yard. So I've got this wood put aside because I'm going to split it in the beast. And I'm waiting for a viewer who views this channel called James Bainton. And he's going to come by and bring his splitter. And we're going to do like a dual splitting mission. I was hoping that he'd come before I revealed the new wood yard and the splitter so that he could show up and be like, what the hell is this place? And then look at the splitter and go, what the hell is that thing, right? But timing is everything. I thought I was going to noodle up a bunch of this. I just got to finish this one here and I'm just going to throw it in the splitter and see what happens. I hate looking at these blocks that are crooked because I don't know what to do with them sometimes. And it's only when you split them open, that's when you can really understand what's going on with them. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm in the mind state for it. You know, I'm not looking at it all flustered anymore. And uh, yeah, so I'll just finish off this cut. I have this one. I'm going to cut another piece of smoker wood. Or I'm going to cut both of them into smoker wood. And then there's a little bit of maple back there too. But I got to cut whatever maple I can into coins because I'm running out of sugar maple. I have a new customer who's buying sugar maple only. So he buys about, what, five, maybe six bags at a time. I just dropped him some today. And he needs that amount about maybe every four weeks. It's called Holy Smoke and one of the guys who runs the place, I know him from like 25 years back. You know, hopefully they do a lot better and they buy a lot more wood.
All right, so I've done about a quarter of the pile. And this one I tried to split in the beast, but it wouldn't split. So I'm gonna cut off this crooked section here and maybe that's gonna help. And I can put it aside to go with that pile. And then I got, looks like more firewood in there. This one's got a curve to it. So probably only about half of it is gonna be firewood. Then the rest boiler wood, or at least one third is gonna be boiler wood. And uh, what's this one here? That's more oak, that's more firewood. Yeah, a bunch of these are not so bad and then there's some sugar maple that I got to cut into smoker wood but then you start getting into these knotty pieces or these crotches that a spider building its nest in there and some of this stuff is rotten too so actually stuff like this I'll just be burning in my own wood stove some of this shorter stuff I could put in the beast but then is this going to come out too small because it only cuts four by four so if anything's too short it's going to be less volume than I want for each log so I might be creating more chafe that way, and then I'm creating, uh, you know, more wood to handle. All right, so this is that one that I said it wouldn't split in the beast. And it still looks a little iffy, but I'm gonna put it back in the pile. The more you reduce off of it, is the more it's gonna split, or the easier it's gonna split. So we'll see what happens. And because it's a little knotty here, when I put it in the splitter, I'm gonna start with this edge here and try and cut this whole row, split this row first. So a little extra height on the pile for the beast. I'm gonna get some honey locusts tomorrow. And I was trying to go to the tree service today, but I got there and they were closing early. They were just closing the gate. The last guy was out leaving the main gate, not even the gate back in their yard. The main gate for the um, for both tenants that are in there. So I couldn't go there today. I got this skid that's a little too thin. I have a use for it. Use it as an upright. So I can get this extra little bit of wall away from the container. It's perfect. Now I just got to start another row. All right, I put a few to hold it up. I'll just get some screws and I'll screw it into the container here. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share, comment, and all that good stuff.